2021. It's the final day of the Palm Beach International Boat Show. So we're gonna go see a few more boats today, and then of course we'll close the day off with my favorite part of the show, all the horns sound off. So get ready for one more day of boating. And be sure to let me know you're enjoying this video by hitting that like button. And of course, if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe, ring the notification bell. Also leave a comment as to your favorite boats on this, uh, anything else you might have, any questions, etc. Okay, just getting off the trolley. Did a lot of walking the other two days. Just want to uh, save some energy this time. So, yep, there it is right behind me. So yeah, a lot of uh, nice air conditioning. Nice mellow ride over here. And uh, this is the final day, like I said. We're gonna catch up on some things. Uh, once again, I apologize if there is any wind noise. Seems like there's actually a wait this time to get in. I do have a press pass, so I'm going to see if I can just go ahead and hop right in. I need a mask up initially. I think I have my mask on upside down. I think I put my mask on upside down, I'm not sure. Let me crack that. Did I? Yeah, I did. Okay, it's all fixed now. Kind of take a moment, look at the accessories. Stay out of that oppressive sun for right now. It's already pretty hot. It's about 11, just a little after 11 o'clock. Final day, closes earlier every other day. The show closed at 7 p.m. Today it closes at 5. Oh, there's another tent here, so I didn't walk into this one. We'll take a look over here. And also, you know, leave comments as to whether or not you want to see accessories, any specific accessories. Um, of course, you know, with as far as the comments go, it'll have to then wait for the next boat show. But let me know so I'll know what to cover in the future. So over here we have some of the electric surfboards. All right. These basically, just like you see it, as an electric hydrofoil, the Rad and Jet Boards. See Bob is German made. This is an awesome product. You don't have to go underwater if you don't want to. It can fill you along the surface. If storage is more important to you than speed, then this is the bike. Is this a tri-fold? Even the pedals fold in. And then this comes around and has a magnetic patch. Wow. So, uh, I do have a place here in the Another beautiful sunny day here in Palm Beach. So I was doing some research onto some boats. Um, there's one that's like recreation of Ernest Hemingway's Pilar, but it's a totally modern, brand new boat. So we're gonna be looking at that. I wanna also look at the Valhalla, their new entry. And of course I have that uh, appointment set up for checking out that Princess X95, which is, this is uh, it's world premiere actually of that boat, so. And uh, a few others. We'll try to uh, see what else there is to say. Okay, come on, join me. Okay, so we're gonna head over to Dock Nine, and we've got a tree limb over here. Yeah. Everglades went on an awesome sea trial at Miami International Boat Show last year. We went all the way out in the ocean. Went over to Coconut Grove. 
It was great. We were out there for like one hour. Cigarette racing's not at the show, but I see one of their boats right over there, passing by. So right now I'm wearing a leopard catamaran hat, and I see leopard catamarans just ahead. So I know we haven't had too many sales. Well, I haven't had any sales for the Fort Lauderdale boat show. Didn't have any. So let's get one sale in on this uh, journey, okay? And head over there now and see if we could do that. That is absolutely awesome. And we'll just take a quick look at some of the other TRs just walking around on deck. So this one here has the 450Rs on it. Which we learned if you watch the live stream I did the other day, the 600s are by no means a replacement or better than the 450Rs because the 600s are not meant for racing. So the 450Rs in many ways are still the uh, supreme choice if you're looking for a very fast boat. The 600s are generally used for a very big, heavy boat. So as you can see, this center console is a pretty big one pretty heavy I mean it has uh, two cabins inside you don't usually see that on a center console so this one is using the 600s for that extra power to be able to push that heavy load
We saw two uh, James Bond named boats. Here's another one, Spectre. Asking 2,490,000, 70 foot. And look at that, we're getting a sneak peek of the garage. Look at that. Look at that. Well, it's now 3.30. I kind of got detoured with some of these boats that I liked when I was walking by. So I'm not going to go head over to that um, catamaran right now, the uh, Leopard. I have a 4 o'clock appointment with the um, Princess Yachts. So we're going to go take a look at that big one, that X95. So I want to kind of get there a little bit ahead of time. Especially since I keep getting lost as to where anything is. I don't remember if it's down this way or if it's over a bit more north. Uh, I think it's more north, I'm not sure. So I just want to go head over there now. And if there's some more time to kill after that, because again, the show does close early, I'll go see whatever else I can get on. I'm not too familiar with this. Maritimo, the other day I thought it said Mantimo. I thought that was an N where the R and the I are connected. Like I said, they cross their T's, but they don't dot their I's. And that confused me. You know what I mean? So, okay, Absolute is over here. I'm gonna head all the way up front because Princess is all the way right up against the land, dry land. Pretty sure Princess is north of here. North of the Gosling's tent. Riviera. Some very nice, you know, some really beautiful boats. Like I've covered some Rivieras and these are looking really nice. Found it, there we go. Princess Yacht, straight ahead, right next to Azimuth. And I'm just going to let the camera keep rolling because I'm going to also use this for my B-roll. This is the one we looked at the other day on Friday. I think what's what this one called? Like the Y85? I'm not sure. We'll take a look again. And the X95 is going to be right around the corner. Azimut is very busy as usual. some of those folks. We just took a look at that, I brought you aboard two of them at the Flibs 2020. I don't even think they have the really big ones that we went on at Flibs. Okay, so here's this one that we're gonna be going aboard, the X95. Here we have a much sportier princess. They have a nice area, a lot more space than Azuma, which is really crowded in that little tiny area. Yeah. 
See what I mean? Really large space over here. I think they have like the largest area set up. So what was this one called? A Y what? A Y85. Okay, I was right. Oh okay, this is what I'm looking for right here. Yeah. Okay, let's start moving forward here. So wrap around up here on this level. Yes, yeah, so a full wrap around here. And then there's gonna be stairs leading down to the front where the master is. And here's that jacuzzi, which is awesome. I like the idea of the jacuzzi being up front. Princess Yachts really outdid themselves. Look at this, how even the bar counter is designed. Beautiful. And a lovely large area. There's this, it's got to be the largest display area at the boat show, I think. We're about 20 minutes away from the show being over, so I'm just going to try to get on one more boat, just have some uh, ice water, just to quench that thirst. The world premiere of the Valhalla V46. Valhalla, of course, is from Viking Yachts. It's their center console line. Launched in 2020. There's only seven minutes left until the official close of the show, so I'm just gonna walk around, head toward the bigger boats for my favorite part, which is the sounding of the horns. And uh, the bigger the boat, the louder the horns. So I'm heading north where those really big mega yachts are, so we can hear that. Start a little horn there. This has been the first event since last March. You know, now it's the end of March 2021. First event since last March where things are starting to feel normal. Um, of course, you know, when everything started with COVID, everybody wasn't wearing masks, but it's nice just feeling a sense of normality returning to, to society. It's been absolutely beautiful here, Palm Beach International Boat Show. It's my first year covering this. I love it. I'll definitely be coming back. I love how also when you're finished with the show and you walk out, you're right near like the heart of the action of West Palm Beach. Just gonna let it keep rolling, we're just minutes away. There's always that first boat that decides to sound off and then all the others join in. There we go, starting. It would be awesome if they could synchronize and actually like play like, you know, like Beethoven or something. I'd be like the conductor and be like there we go this what we can do actually you can start
And with that, the Palm Beach. And with that, the Palm Beach International Boat Show is officially closed for 2021. Let me know you enjoyed this tour around this boat show by smashing that like button. And we'll definitely be returning here. But also check out all the other content on the channel. Fat 1010 is the everything channel. So we got everything from theme parks, fun places to visit, sightseeing attractions, roller coaster ride POVs, etc. etc. Make sure to share with other people that you think might enjoy that kind of content. Use a playlist to navigate to find all the different varieties of content on this channel. I missed this part the other day. Let's just take a look at some of these cars that would pass by. I don't even know that Aston Martin made an SUV. <laughs> more of my style. I'm not really an SUV person. Everybody's breaking stuff down already. And with that, I am heading out. I've done three days of this show, Thursday, Friday, and Sunday. And yeah, that means now, editing, editing, editing. But I loved it, it was great. I'm also gonna, like I said, be covering, doing some editing on uh, some other videos. So, you know, it's not just boating on this channel. So please do, you know, look at some of the other content and share with friends, family, other people that might enjoy some of that other content. Hopefully you'll enjoy the other content as well. But like I said, it's a wide variety of things, art shows, theme parks, ride POVs, uh, drive-alongs, all sorts of stuff, places to visit, mostly like a lot of travel things, things like that. And a lot of boating, boating, boating as well.
Tacos, tacos, they have in Fort Lauderdale as well. name very dear to me, Roxy. That was the name of my ferret. She was awesome. I love and miss her so much. Famous Dixie Highway runs all the way up into Minnesota right up to the Canadian border. Crossing the railroad tracks. And over here is the Bright Line station.
interesting. Sunday on the waterfront, downtown West Palm, third Sunday. This reminds me of a section in Delray Beach like this. These like old historic houses are converted into a hotel with a bar area. There's a place in Delray Beach. I didn't go to look at it, but I would pass by the front of it. It's so reminiscent of it. Yeah, some really beautiful old architecture here. Look at that road. It's a mountain. It's like the highest elevation in South Florida, probably. It takes longer to boil water up there. I'll have to do a driving around video here one day. I want to get a shot of the stuff. Then there's a large park over here. People seem to use it as a dog park, but also for sports. Cheesecake Factory. This leads up to the movie theater. I'm actually going to take a walk up there because I haven't done that yet. So I showed you on the other day, took a look at the section with the tree and the fountain, the tree that changes colors. Stairs are nice here. There's an improv comedy club up ahead. Inside the AMC Theater, which used to be the movie code Parisian 20. Okay, let's see now. It's, it's supposed to be a flat rate of uh, $5 all day on weekends. Thank you for coming along. I'll see you soon. Take care.